Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to use custom data guard patterns with a big IP advanced WEF security policy. This is demo 26 of the AWEF demo series, and it's intended for intermediate to advanced level big IP advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit requests with UK national insurance numbers, and Lorax Investments employee ID numbers. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request, before sending them to the backend web server. The Big IP system also uses its full proxy architecture to examine server responses, and can mask any confidential data, before sending them to the client. Let's first use the DVWA web application, and view the current data guard settings. We'll use the web form on this page to send a request to the web server, which includes a US social security number. US social security numbers are being masked, or scrubbed, by Big IP Advanced WEF. We'll now submit a request which includes a UK national insurance number. UK national insurance numbers are being sent in HTTP responses. Much like US social security numbers, these confidential numbers should be masked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Let's look at the virtual server we just used to access the DVWA website. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. On the Virtual Server Security Policies page, you can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 24 Custom Data Guard Security Policy. On the Big IP Advanced WEF Data Guard page, you can see that Data Guard is already enabled for this security policy for both credit card numbers and US social security numbers. We'll now create a custom data guard pattern by selecting this checkbox. You can use PCRE, or Perl compatible regular expressions, to build the custom patterns. When creating a custom pattern, we must understand the pattern's design. All UK national insurance numbers begin with two capital letters, followed by six numbers followed by one last capital letter. You'll need to have a good understanding of using regular expressions. For example, in this custom pattern, the A through Z identifies any capital letter between A through Z, and the two identifies two of those capital letters. The 0 through 9 identifies any number between 0 through 9, and the 6 identifies 6 of those numbers. And then finally, the A through Z identifies one final capital letter. After saving and applying the policy, we'll test the new pattern on the web page. The user's UK national insurance number is now being masked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Let's say we wanted to display the last three characters of the number, similar to the last four numbers of a social security number. For that, we'll need to modify the previous custom pattern. We'll delete this custom pattern. and replace it with this one. 
The difference with this pattern is that it only masks the first four numbers. And it doesn't mask the final letter. Let's test it in the web application. We can now see the last three characters of the user's UK national insurance ID. Let's add another entry. Notice that this entry is not being masked. Custom patterns written in regular expressions are case sensitive. We'll need to create a second custom pattern to accommodate users that enter their UK national insurance numbers with lowercase letters. This entry is also not being masked. When creating custom patterns for items like the UK national insurance number, you need to take into account when users enter it with different spacing. We'll also need to create a third custom pattern to accommodate these types of entries. This custom pattern is similar to the first pattern, except the A through Z are using lowercase letters. The next custom pattern starts with two capital letters, followed by a literal space, followed by any two numbers, followed by another space, and finally another number. The last pattern is like the previous one, except using lowercase letters. Let's test these custom patterns in the web application. All UK national insurance ID numbers are now being masked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Let's add one last entry, using lowercase letters, and spaces. This entry is masked as we already have a custom pattern for this type of entry. In the last part of this demo, we'll create a custom mask for a confidential employee ID number. Lorax Investments would like their employees' ID numbers to be masked by Big IP Advanced WEF. All Lorax Investments user IDs begin with a text string, LRX, followed by a hyphen, followed by a random four-digit number, which always starts with a one or a two, followed by another hyphen, followed by two random letters. We'll use this regular expression for the custom pattern. Notice the first part of the four digit number is only one through two. Again, we'll test this on the web page. The user's employee ID number is now being masked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Let's enter another number. This entry is not masked. Do you know why? Remember, 
the four numbers must start with a 1, or a 2, so this entry doesn't match the custom pattern, and therefore it wasn't masked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using custom data guard patterns with F5 Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos. And for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.